Elaine, nice you're so beautiful. Well, thank you. You never stop being a TV anchor. So she's very smooth. She hits all of the talking points that will endear her to President Trump. What do you guys think? Do you think the BBC is going to be fair? We shall see, right? <laughs> She's definitely on to some sense of grievance, perhaps, that the country's going in the wrong direction, and they really like her for that. Can I just uh, have my lipstick real quick? I think I talked my lipstick off. To keep me in check, Carrie's team filmed the interview as well. If Donald Trump runs again in 2024, will you work and campaign for him? Oh, my goodness, absolutely. Do you think he will run again? I do think he will run again, yeah. Will he win? He shouldn't have to run again because he won the last election, but he will win, and, and President Donald Trump will come back with a vengeance. You talked about the 2020 election and saying that it's stolen. Do you really believe the 2020 election was stolen? Yes, absolutely. I'm not the only one who believes it. The majority of Americans believe it. Unfortunately, the media refuses to cover it. We had a million ways to cheat, and they used each and every one of them. But there was also here in Arizona a review uh, commissioned by the Republican Party that found that Joe Biden won the state. We know that hundreds of thousands of phony ballots were dropped into these drop boxes, and they were counted. The media still won't believe it because they're on a mission to discredit that. But I'll tell you what, people are waking up to that election. Trump's team repeatedly challenged the result in court. But there were, what, 65 lawsuits that were But none dismissed. of the evidence was presented. But you had even Trump you judges account. throwing out some of the lawsuits. Evidence was not presented. Evidence will be presented, I believe, someday, hopefully soon. And this evidence has been in the hands of our attorney general since September of 2020, before the stolen election. He sat on a mountain of evidence and did nothing. And I hope his career is over because of that. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. I mean, you can make black white if you want to. If you're going to ignore the facts, you make black white, and that's what that's what she's doing on that issue of the election. It's so frustrating because it should be a clear issue. She has put herself very firmly in the Trump camp. It is a litmus test of loyalty to Donald Trump to say that the 2020 election was stolen in America. It is almost the only thing that he cares about.